everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you guys have been waiting forever and a freaking day now, wondering what in the world my new bird is. A few weeks ago, my husband did buy me a new birdie, and I've literally been so excited and on cloud nine and have been dying to tell you. Love my birds, and I was ready for a new bird companion in my life. I've been putting some teasers here and there on my Instagram stories. I asked in my previous videos, this little guy talking in the background, if you guys could guess what type of bird that he is. A lot of people did some really good guesses and it shows that you kind of know me in a sense because the birds that you picked are literally birds that I would consider mm -hmm. bringing into my home. It's so cool that you guys made such really, really good guesses. Unfortunately though, no one got it right. Been dying since day one to show you guys this bird. As you guys know already, birds take patience and a lot of time. Needed some time to kind of liven up a little bit and just get used to the place. So I am literally so excited to show you my new bird that my husband bought me. <laughs> Say hello to Popples the Quaker Parrot. Hi. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> this is Popples, and there is a story behind his name. My daughter, Emery, you guys have probably met her a couple times in my videos. She calls her popsicles, which is she's completely obsessed with popsicles. She refers to her popsicles as Popples. And I really wanted to name this bird after something catchy that reminds me of Emery. So you guys guessed some really good guesses under my recent video. The closest one was an Indian ringneck. I saw a couple people post that because I was literally so close to picking Indian ringneck. The real difference that set me towards a Quaker parrot over an Indian ringneck was their voice. When I was looking up Indian ringnecks versus Quaker parrots, that was the one thing that set them apart, was their, ah, was their loud calls in an Indian ringneck versus a Quaker parrot. Also, I have had a little bit more experience as far as like seeing Quaker parrots versus an Indian ringneck. I love Indian ringnecks and they are so cool. I had no experience with them as far as like even seeing one in person or holding one or anything like that. So I had to go on a safer bet with something that's quieter versus louder. Popples is still new, so he's not used to this kind of interaction with the camera. We have practiced a few times before we actually made this video just to see how he would react with a camera in his face and this and that. He's still getting used to me and we're still creating a bond, but he is, he's done so much better and he is doing so well getting along with Yoshi and being close with me. So there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but we're doing so good. So if he's not on me most of this video, it's okay. He'll be sitting here on his bird gym just so he gets a little bit more comfortable and where he's more relaxed. This is actually where he's the most comfortable so far, other than his cage, obviously. And this is where we do our trainings every night. I just want to learn more about Popples, the Quaker Parrot, as far as like how we introduced him to Yoshi, this and that, definitely. Leave me a comment in the comment section just so I know what you guys are interested in. I was very, very close to an Indian ring neck picking them, but like I said, their loud calls is what really separated them from a Quaker parrot. They are so much alike as far as wanting to mimic the sounds of a human or you know, whatever mimicking sounds around them. And they're not as high pitched. They're very vocal, aren't you? kind of birds like Indian ringnecks need a lot of attention and socialization with their humans. Also very known to be very sweet and cuddly. Indian ringnecks from what I've read typically aren't as lovey and I love to be loved and cuddled and told that you love me and you adore me. Baker Parrot was definitely right up my alley and fit best into what I was looking for for a bird companion. One thing that I will say, I do not buy birds for my bird. And if you are wanting a second bird, please do not buy a bird for that reason alone. Although I love the idea that Yoshi would have a bird companion because in all actuality, the best companion for a bird is a bird. With humans, we do better with other humans. Sometimes. 
In all actuality, it was it would definitely be a bonus if they were friends, but it wasn't going to be a deal breaker if they didn't get along, which can typically happen a lot in the bird world. I know people have their different opinions on these things and have their different reasons, but mine is different and I may get some hate for it, but hopefully if you hear my reasoning for it, you'll understand. I am not a believer in let having your bird's wings so you may be thinking, oh, for safety reasons, that's not a good idea. I totally understand that. But, however, in this case, I did have Popple's wings clipped. When I first got him, he didn't have his wings clipped. His flight feathers were fully intact, fully, he was good. He was flying all over my living room, into the kitchen. It was insane. And I could not get him calmed down long enough to work with him onto the bird gym, kind of get him used to the place. He was too busy flying away from me and flying um, on top of our curtains. He wouldn't come down. And I was like, okay, for one, safety reasons, yes, he needs his wings clipped. But two, I also have to be able to work with him and train him and get him to a point that he trusts me, we have a bond, and he knows to fly to me. Unfortunately, yet, there is not much of a bond with Popples. I need him to trust me and to know when he flies to me, it is a safe place. Isn't that right? So, my reasoning as far as not clipping wings when they get to the point of Yoshi is because I feel like a bird should be a bird. They should be able to fly and enjoy being a bird. Birds are known for flying. They're wings. They should be able to fly. That is my main thing there. People will say, oh, well, what if they get hurt? Here is the deal with me on this. And I am very passionate mm -hmm. about how I feel about birds being able to fly and the whole safety thing. We were the ones that put birds in captivity. We are the ones that accommodate to them. They don't accommodate to us. If you have fans in your house and you want to clip their wings, oh, well, they'll get caught in the fan. Turn them off. If that's a problem with you, don't get a bird. If you can't put your toilet seats down, don't get a bird. If you worry about your bird getting into a harmful situation, well, where are you? Are you not watching your bird? Are you not in the same room? Are you gone? Are you in town? Put the bird in the cage. If you don't have the time to dedicate to this bird, don't get a bird. That, I know that can come across as harsh and mean, but I get very, very agitated and I'm very passionate about that subject. I feel like if you can't let your bird be a bird, then don't get one. I do have people in town that tell me constantly that I need to get my bird's wings clipped. It's other bird owners that got onto me about not clipping my bird's wings. That is your opinion and I'm stating mine. Um, I haven't had one problem yet with Yoshi getting hurt in any form or fashion. It's because we have a bond together. I know Yoshi. I've got to know his personality and what I need to watch for with him personally. I will do the same thing with Popples. If there's certain things that he, like it, his thing is wanting to go under the couch all the time. If that's the case, I'm going to need to find a way to block the couch or find some ways to fix this issue and to stop that habit. It is not Popples' fault. That is just Popples' personality. And I need to work with it and find a way to resolve it, not he resolve it for me. You know, everyone has their own reasoning for things, and I hope that we could respect and understand mine. But if you do have a valid argument, please leave it in the comments below because I'd always want to know your side and your opinion on things, whether I agree with it or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little introduction on meeting Popples, my Quaker parrot. I'm so excited that my husband bought me this bird. It was such a sweet thing that he did. He's, he's the base. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and I will see you in the next one. Right? Give me kisses. Good boy.